in that you've got a stress strain curve that doesn't is not just linear. Uh, so we're gonna do a little bit of guessing, but but then we'll do some calculations. All right. So a portion of stress strain curve is shown below a 350 millimeter long bar is loaded in tension until it elongates two millimeters and then the load is removed. Okay. Do you see what they just told us? They're giving us the strain, right? Not exactly on a silver platter, but they're giving us the strain, right? But the stretches, if you tell me about how much it stretches, things like that, then you are giving me this information on here. So I'm going to come up from here. All right, so what is that strain if a 350 millimeter long bar elongates delta L of two, then the strain is delta L over L, two millimeters over 350 millimeters, uh, 0 0.005714. So here's 0 0.005, here's 0 0.0055. Uh, so, so we're talking about right, right about here is 0 0.005714. All right, so I'm going to have to do some rough justice, and I'm going to have to estimate this point right here. But I think I told you on the test, this will, these will be perfectly linear lines, and I'm not going to want you to estimate. I'm going to want you to take that point 005714 and calculate, right? Because if, I, if, if this was linear from there to there, then I could calculate. All right, but anyway, we're going to estimate. And I've got 440. All right, so I've got 440. I think that's right about right here because this would be 400. That line would be 400. Uh, is that right? Yeah, halfway between 320 and 480 would be 400. And it looks like about you know three quarters of the way. We're going to say 440. Strain of 440. All right, but now. We're going to start calculate. Yeah, close to starting to calculate, but one more little estimation right here. All right, so if we're at 440 right here, it's removed, and, and we want to know the permanent set, right? We want to know the permanent deformation. So we would, we would kind of want to figure out this unloading triangle, and we know that the unloading triangle unloads at E, and I haven't calculated e yet so i do need to do a little bit one more estimating to find e where do i find e i find e from right here right e's the slope of the elastic region so let's say e let's see if you agree with me right here i'm gonna say that that point i'm gonna estimate that point 160 MPA corresponds to, it, I, I don't think it's quite 0 0.001, right? That line is 0 0.001. It's a little bit over here. I'm saying 0 0.00, be careful, 0 0.08, right? 0 0.00, 0 0.08 is the strain that 160 corresponds to. So that would be 200 thousand MPA or 200 GPA. Okay, so now I think I'm ready to unload. So here's the unloading triangle. Unloading triangle. Um, I know this is at 440. The height is 440. And the elastic region, the non the elastic recovery, right? There's the base of my unloading triangle. Let me just keep on going right here. I know that the E, the slope of the unloading triangle, would be the same as the slope of my unloading triangle. The E is the same as the slope of my unloading triangle. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll finish up here. We can get through here. All right, so the elastic recovery, 0 0.0022 millimeters per millimeter, right? The base of this triangle is a strain. That's not an actual length, 
That's not in millimeters. That's in strain. That's in millimeters per millimeter. All right. So I think what it was asking for, the permanent strain. I was at 0 0.005714. I came back. I recovered 0 0.0022. So I'm left with a strain of 0 0.00. 351 millimeters per millimeter. So that is the permanent strain. And so part A, permanent set, that's that's what it's asking for, permanent strain. Okay. Part B, what is the length of the unloaded bar? What is the length of the unloaded bar? So it was it was 350, but I know I have a permanent deformation of 0 0.00351 millimeters per millimeter. Let me change that to actual length. You know, how many millimeters is that? I need to multiply it times the original length, right? This is a strain. A strain is delta L over L. So in order to get the delta L, right, you take strain and multiply it times L. So I take this 0 0.00351 millimeters per millimeter and multiply it times the length of 350 millimeters. Yeah. And then we've got 1.2 millimeters. Let's say 1.20 millimeters. So that is the permanent deformation. That's still not exactly what it asked for. It didn't ask for the change in length. It didn't ask for the permanent strain permanent deformation it asks for the actual length so my answer 350 but plus that permanent deformation of 1.2 351.2 is the length so do you see how if that's what i'm looking for and you box in 1.20 oh, millimeters you know that won't be completely correct okay and then uh, lastly, if the bar is reloaded, what will the proportional limit be? So we mentioned this a little bit, but if you load something up to here and then unload it right here, then now its new, um, its new stress strain diagram is this pink curve right here. That, that's its new stress strain diagram. It's almost like you throw away, throw away that. It, it starts with that strain right there. but uh, that means that the new proportional limit or the new sigma PL or sigma, sigma Y uh, is now 440 as opposed to down here at, you know, 300. So now new proportional limit would be 440 MPA.